Hello. Welcome to today's video. Another walk through the woods. This is a slightly different route to the last one. This one, if you follow it, it takes you all the way up to the pub, the Robin Hood pub, which of course at the moment is closed for reasons we won't go into right now, but you know. So today's perfume, and I guess we'll call it a review. Today's perfume review is Prada Tainted Love. Here's the bottle in its home environment. It has a magnetic cap. And the label is a thick fabric and it has texture. This is from their Olfactive series. It's been out quite a few years now. And I've been really curious to try it for quite a long time. I recently found a bottle on eBay and it was a really good price. It was, if I recall, it was under a hundred pounds. The RRP is around the 200 pound mark and it is available in Harrods and other retailers at that price. So I was never going to blind buy it. Certainly not at that price, not even at half that price, but it was just under half that price. And I split the bottle, so I sold several decants to my fragrance friends at cost price to give them the opportunity to try it as well without a risky blind buy. I can't remember the perfumer, I should have looked, but I'll pop that up on the screen for you now. I've worn it a few times. I haven't felt the need to reach for it loads, so I haven't fallen head over heels for it at the moment. But I am wearing it now, and I'm definitely enjoying it. The notes from memory are raspberry, rose, violet, musk, oris, and I might have forgotten some, but I'm pretty sure there's almond actually. I don't know if it's listed or not. It feels a little almondy to me, but not a really sweet almond. So let me tell you how it smells. It opens quite powdery almost a baby powdery and you can smell rose and violet together and I think rose and violet do work so well together they create that makeup feel and this is what this fragrance is all about the smell of makeup the beautiful beautiful scent that's so reminiscent of makeup and can mean so much to so many different people. Some people have memories of a parent, there's a squirrel here, there he is. Some people have memories of a 
parent or a grandparent that smelt of makeup or they may have memories of theatre makeup perhaps or their first trials with makeup themselves it definitely does bring some different memories to different people and I think that's why it's such a popular genre in perfumery there's quite a few makeup scents out there so for example Frederick Marl lipstick rose that is another rose and violet and iris concoction of vanilla so the vanilla in lipstick rose is quite strong and I find that fragrance a little bit too linear for my taste although it's beautiful now there is vanilla in Tainted Love as well. Now another lipsticky makeup fragrance is Guerlain's French Kiss. And I have reviewed that one as well. That one's very sweet. The raspberry in that is very syrupy. So similar notes, but actually quite different fragrances. Guerlain takes it to a sweetness level that I would never want to go past. It's as sweet as I could possibly accept in a fragrance. Whereas Tainted Love is one of the least sweet makeup scents that I've tried. Apart from the masculine ones, the Dior Homme range is doesn't have the fruity notes, doesn't seem to go quite as makeup-y. It has the makeup feel, but without the added sweetness that a lot of makeup scents do. So, let's tell you a little bit more how it smells. When you first spray it, it's very powdery and you can smell the raspberry but it's soft it's not too tart and it's not too sweet you can smell the rose and the violet again soft not mega sweet and there's this scent in here possibly the musk or maybe a combination of the musk and the iris that smells almost like dry toasted unsweetened almonds almost or maybe even green unripened almonds it's almost slightly bitter this is not a marzipan scent at all like french kiss can be a bit marzipan like this is almost almost green almost bitter note that's cutting through and making this a much more interesting scent not exactly savory but unsweet i don't think the development is that strong with this fragrance in that it doesn't really change a whole lot it just slowly evolves so that something more noticeable will calm down a little bit and you might notice something else coming into the forefront but overall the notes listed are very much the notes that you get but just bear in mind they might not be as sweet as you're expecting It feels like the fragrance is leaning feminine simply because of all the notes are it typical in female fragrances. Rose, violets, vanilla, powder, musk, all very typically feminine notes. However, because it lacks a heavy dose of sugar, 
and the vanilla in here is very understated I mean I forgot about it when I was talking to you earlier so that just goes to show the vanilla acts as a almost like a bra underneath a lady's blouse just doing a little bit of the background work but you don't necessarily need to know about it or see it that's how the vanilla acts in this fragrance so because it's not too sweet I think a gentleman that is comfortable with powdery scents doesn't mind a bit of floral may well enjoy tainted love if you really enjoy the dior home line it might be something to explore something different but thinking about it a bit more the scent is almost a bit rice like like a rice powder you know when rice is cooking a little bit like basmati rice cooking perhaps a very interesting fragrance something that's neither warm nor cool it sits in the middle actually perfect for a spring day today is perhaps colder than what you might call a typical spring day but the performance seems to be doing quite well I'm getting whiffs of it as the wind is hitting me and even when it's not windy I'm definitely getting hits of it from around my neck here's a fallen tree the underneath of a fallen tree So I think the projection's quite good. I'd have to test the longevity a few more times to give you a definite answer on that. But I feel like it's lasting a working day for the average person. It's an understated fragrance. It's not a bold fragrance. Everything is gently blending together. It's very musky, very powdery all the way through so it feels perfect for work for when you don't want to make a big statement you just want to smell clean well put together but not like everyone else talking of clean it is quite a clean smelling fragrance I wouldn't go so far as to say it's soapy, but I think the musks do come off maybe towards the soapy side. There's a big fallen tree in there. Some people might feel the fragrance is a bit soapy because of the musks. It smells almost like you would expect a body lotion, or an expensive soap to smell like, yet powdery. So it's like you've got your whole cosmetics cabinet, your powder, your lipstick, your body powder, your lotion, all together, but in a subtle, refined, elegant, sophisticated way. Overall, it's a big thumbs up from me. I really enjoy it. I can't go so far as to say it's a love just yet. It's a very strong like. For the price I paid, I'm very happy. So I'm gonna give you my stripy gloves and my thumbs up for you. And my lovely stripy gloves. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon for another video.